All right, let's look up. Let's look at the classification of carbohydrates. Now, we've seen that carbohydrates are polyhydroxy words, aldehydes, or polyhydroxy words, ketones, or substances that eat such on hydrolysis. Now, we can classify carbohydrates based on the number of sugar units. Based on the number of sugar units into monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. So let's look at the first one. First, saccharide. Anytime you hear saccharide, saccharide came from the Greek word saccharose. Meaning sugar. So anytime you hear saccharide, just know what they are talking about is what? Sugar. Now, monosaccharide. At this point, we already know that saccharide is talking about sugar, right? Mono means what? One. So it means that monosaccharides are carbohydrates with how many sugar units? One sugar unit. So if they have one sugar unit, it means they cannot be broken down to simpler units. Is it not? One sugar unit, you cannot split them to simpler units again. That's monosaccharide. So monosaccharides have one sugar unit. Now, the simplest monosaccharide we have is glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone. Those are the two simplest monosaccharides we have. Glyceraldehyde is given as this. This is the structure. Glyceraldehyde contains what functional group? Is it aldehyde or ketone? From the word glyceraldehyde, we know it contains aldehyde functional group right and aldehyde functional group the carbonyl carbon is always at the terminal right and we said carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehydes this is structure of glyceraldehyde then we also have dihydroxyacetone dihydroxyacetone that's what functional group Ketone, right? Dihydroxy acetone. Ketone. So ketone, this is ketone. So this is dihydroxy acetone. Dihydroxy. Two hydroxy group. Then acetone. Alright. So dihydroxy acetone and glyceraldehyde they are the smallest monosaccharides we have now monosaccharides can be further classified based on the number of carbon they have now based on the number of carbon they have monosaccharides can be classified into can i clean this can i clean this please joffers All right, so if I have numbered this, now it is a condensation reaction, and in condensation reaction, water is given off. And you agree with me that the formula for water is what? H2O, right? Or HOH. Now, this H here can take this OH from here. Water is given off, right? So if I remove this H, this water, what I'll be having left here is what? O, right? But if I join this bond like this, it will be very unfair. Because anybody that will come and see this now will think it is only this other glucose that donated everything. That is why the oxygen is having this. So instead, we'll put the oxygen at the middle to show that two of them donated it. Now, this bond we form here is called glycosidic bond. The bond between sugar units the bond joining the sugar units together is called what glycosidic bond but if you want to say the full name of this if you notice this was between carbon what and what one and four right so this is one four glycosidic bond this is one four glycosidic bond but we can still go further we can still go further but for now Let's stop here. We'll see, as we go on, we'll see alpha and beta. So we'll see alpha 1, 4, and beta 1, 4. But for now, let's stop here. So basically, we are going to learn how to draw this together. 
But for now, take note that the bonds joining the sugar units together is called what? Glycosidic bond. And disaccharides have two of the sugar units linked together by what type of bond? Examples of disaccharides, we can have sucrose. Sucrose is made up of what and what? Sucrose is, okay, the, the next example is what? The next example, we have maltose and we have what? Lactose. Now, we all know that all of them are disaccharides, right? And one thing you should notice that all of them have glucose. So, this is glucose plus something. This is glucose plus something. This is glucose plus something. Now, let's look at the something. Sucrose is glucose plus what? Fructose. Glucose plus fructose. Now, maltose is glucose plus what? No, glucose plus what? Glucose. Two molecules of glucose will give us maltose. Then lactose is glucose plus galactose. You can never forget this because now we already know all of them have glucose, right? Now, plus galactose, you are even hearing the lactose inside. So, glucose plus galactose will give us what? Lactose. And then, after I knew that, I was not confusing sucrose and maltose. So, I was not like, what will I use to remember which one is running sucrose and which one is running maltose? And just like I always say, if you use nonsense to remember something, you can never forget it. The brain retains nonsense more than sense. <laughs> All right, so if you look at this, maltose is glucose plus glucose, right? Is it not? Yes. Sir? Yes. No, sir. All right, so I was like, what can I use to remember this nonsense? So I use the nonsense. Anytime, since that day, anytime I see malt, I'll just be looking at it and say, so this thing is just glucose that is inside it. I'll look at it and say, so it's just glucose that is inside malt. That nonsense made me to remember that maltose is just glucose molecules. Two glucose molecules combined. So we have glucose and glucose combined together. Then this one, glucose galactose. Lactose is pronounced there. Then I know the other one remaining is fructose. So that must be for sucrose. So sucrose is glucose plus fructose. Maltose is glucose plus glucose, and lactose is glucose plus galactose. So that's disaccharide. If you forget anything I've said so far, don't forget anything. Don't forget that the bonds joining sugar units together is called what? Glycosidic bonds. All right, now, oligosaccharide. Oligo means few. Oligo means what? Few. So oligosaccharides have few sugar units. Few sugar units. So the range of sugar units found in oligosaccharide is from 3 to 10. So if we have 3 sugar units, or 4 sugar units, or 5 sugar units like that, that will give us what? Our oligosaccharides. So oligosaccharides have 3 to 10 sugar units. Polysaccharides. Poly means what? Many, right? Polysaccharides have hundreds to thousands of sugar units. Hundreds of thousands of sugar units linked together by what type of bonds? Glycosidic bonds. And examples of polysaccharides are what? Starch. Starch. Glycogen. Cellulose. What else? I said it's not pronounced chitin, but chitin. Chitin. Alright, so that's the classification of carbohydrates based on the sugar units. Any questions so far?